Yes, again, it's our group. It is, it's, it's institutional uh, efforts for visibility of scientific uh, publications in Europe. Right, I need to uh, speed up a bit, sorry. Um, can you use a preprint? You find a paper that says preprint, can you use it? Yes, you can. It means uh, for uh, accepted publication. Doesn't uh, no danger that, that it um, changes. Why do you decide the authors now? It's about giving credits to them. It's because also you you want that people give credit to you when they read your paper. It's to enable the reader to understand the sources of information you have used. This is also very important to support your arguments. It's to build your theory on the topic. And the laboratory results, so people do not ask you how have you how have you, how have you made this conclusion? Actually, yes, because I have you know read this this and that. It's very important. Um, do you cite master thesis? Should you should you cite master thesis? Definitely, definitely. It's an effort done. It's a it's, a, it's an intellectual effort made by by someone. It doesn't matter if this person has a PhD or not. Um, about the research methodology, uh, we start by uh, asking uh, if you have a main research question or hypothesis in mind, and whether the methodology suits uh, it is the best is best suited to answer the main questions or hypothesis. Um, we are all aware that uh, publishing uh, a paper uh, needs lots of help and also you know, adjustments to the working culture in English and also the, the, the standards of communicating in English. Um, there are some free, uh, there are some tools to help you, you know, produce English in, a, in, a, in an eloquent uh, form. Some of them are here, some uh, tools for academic uh, writing, uh, connecting also sentences and so on, and also some software to review your abstract. Actually, the last one is not free, it's paid. But there are simple tools that can help you, you know, improve the language. This is also an issue when you publish uh, a paper. Uh, there is a handout I would like to, um, to distribute to you while uh, uh, being glad to ask for, uh, for questions. And uh, within this project, the great project, um, because this is what we talk about scientific writing, um, uh, we, we have a native speaker that and correct an abstract that uh, you produce from now until let's say the next, next six months. If you're going to produce uh, an abstract for your research, you can send it to us and we will uh, engage the native speaker that is described for the field project for this uh, within this context. The handout is uh, guidance on how to write an abstract from American University. There are again, there are lots of you know, uh, hand handouts and guidelines. This is very synthetic. I like it a lot. It's very synthetic and gives um, a task, and then you need to write and formulate better and better your your meaning. Thank you.